belief, fact, or fiction. Hosted by James Brolin. We live in a world where the real and the unreal live side by side. Where substance is disguised as illusion. And the only explanations are unexplainable. Will you be able to separate stories of truth from fantasy tonight? To do so, you must break through the web of your experience and open your mind to things beyond belief. Beyond Belief, Fact or Fiction, was a primetime network show that ran on Fox from 1997 to 2002. The show featured several stories, some of which made up by the writers of the show, while others were based upon real events. One story in particular really sat with me over the years, and it was hard for me to justify whether or not I believed it was true. The story Kid in the Closet from the first season was an episode that was hard to forget. I thought that I might investigate it and get to the bottom story of it. story for mother to tell, but years have passed now, so I'll try. My youngest son, Danny, was 10 years old and living in constant terror. His days were filled with threats and taunts from the kids at school. His nights were filled with terrible dreams about a monster inside the closet in his room. My older children had no sympathy for Danny either, and that's a memory I can't lose. Could I have done something to change things? It's a question I ask myself over and over, but what could I have possibly done? I found Danny sleeping downstairs in the middle of the night. That was a common occurrence in our house. Hey, Danny. Honey, wake up. Hey, you can't keep sleeping out here. I don't want to go up there. How long is this going to go on, huh? You have nothing to be frightened of. Okay? <laughs> okay, let's go to bed. But I can't. Yeah. Okay, Danny. No, let's check up this sleeve here. Nothing. See down here. Uh, you see anything? Yeah. No, there's nothing in here. Let's get in bed, and I want you to stay there. Okay. All right. Had a boy. Okay. You comfortable? Yeah. Good. You stay with me, mom. Oh, honey, you have got to get over this. But I'm afraid to. I know. Nothing's gonna get you. There's nothing in the closet. Okay? All right. Oh, and um, if you don't stay in bed, I'm gonna get you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I love you. I love you too. You got good okay. drinks. You too. You drink. Right. Shut the door. I love you, honey. Is that the closet? Is that where the monster lives? 
Ooh, I bet the monster's really hungry. <laughs> hey, Debbie. If you're so brave, why don't you go in the closet? Well, okay, baby. Yeah, Brian, show him. But you're next. What's this? That's Brian's shirt. Where'd he go? Who? Brian, he went into the closet. He's gone. I told you there's a monster in there. There's no way the kid could have gotten out of this closet, except through the door. Mrs. Johnson, let me ask you again. Is there any reason why your son would want to run away from home? Excuse me, Mrs. Johnson, I need to speak to my partner. I couldn't hear exactly what the police were saying to each other, but I guessed what the report would read. My son Brian would be officially listed as a missing person. Another young boy who ran away from home. It's really weird. The kid just seems to have vanished into thin air. Well, what do you want me to write in the report? That the kid was eaten by a monster? Danny's brother was never seen or heard from again. Now, what really happened here? Did Danny's brother run away from home? Was there really a way out of that closet that nobody ever found? Or maybe this was a tragic lesson about being kind to other human beings, taught by a spirit hidden deep in a boy's closet. Or maybe it came from the deep recesses of our writer's imagination. The truth about this story will be revealed in our final act. And what's your guess on the story about the boy who feared the monster in his closet? What's this? That's Brian's shirt. Where'd he go? Who? Brian, he went into the closet. He's gone. I told you there's a monster in there. Could the idea for a story like this have come from a real life event? Yes, it did. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. The only shred of evidence that exists that may prove this story is false is an IMDb message board post by an anonymous user in 2007. The title of the post is Monster in the Closet episode is not true, and this is why. I personally contacted the man who collected true accounts for the show. I asked him where he got his proof for this. He responded to me with this. The Beyond Belief fact or fiction story about the monster in the kid's closet was based on an actual event that I personally investigated in Florida many years ago. At the time it happened, there was no explanation for the boy's disappearance until two weeks later when it was learned that he had climbed out of the closet through a ceiling panel and ran away from home. He stayed at a friend's house until the friend's mother discovered him hiding in the attic of their home and exposed the ruse. Unfortunately, the show producer responsible for checking out the truthfulness of each story was not informed until it was too late and the boy had turned up at a friend's house several blocks away. Investigators who had tapped the ceiling and walls of the closet did not find the panel because the boy had wedged two pieces of wood into place over it when he was in the crawl space above the closet. When later prompted for proof whether or not she had emailed him, she replied, Guess what? I don't give a crap if you believe me. Go to the guy's website, get his email address, and ask him yourself, ass clown. Well, I did find the guy's website and it turns out that it was closed down in the early 2000s. After a little bit of digging in the internet archive, I found that the writer did have a personal website set up at the time of this post, and it looks like he had a link to email him as well, so it's feasible that she emailed him. 
No one else in the thread emailed him asking him to back up his story. So we can only infer that either they didn't get a response or they never actually emailed him. After doing a lot of research myself, I could not find any instance of a story anywhere similar to this that took place in Florida or North Carolina or anywhere. Whether or not it really is true, you have to admit it's a pretty fantastic tale to be passing off as true on television. And it would give any kid nightmares to know that there was possibly a real boogeyman that ended up killing a kid. What do you believe? Do you believe the show actually did get its sources from actual events? Do you believe that they made the entire thing up and just said it was true? Or do you believe the anonymous poster who said that they got information that contradicted the truthfulness after the episode had already aired?